Hello, Vicky. हेलो गुड इवनिंग गुड मॉर्निंग नमस्ते एवरीवन बिफोर इंट्रोड्यूसिंग माय सेल्फ आई वुड एक्सप्रेस माय ग्रेटिट्यूड टू पोइट के कुमार प्रसन्ना एंड एंटर टीम ऑफ द फोटल ब्रेंस फॉर गिविंग मी दिस यूनिक अपॉर्चुनिटी टू कम लाइव ऑन दिस प्रेस्टीजियस लिटरेरी प्लेटफॉर्म I am Shama Prasad Patnaik, a retired bank professional from Odisha. Now I am live from Bangalore on this beautiful platform. I am much delighted to be here to present my poems in the solo poetry recited program. Friends, I have started writing trilingual poems in three different languages of English, Hindi, and Odia. Odia being my loving mother tongue. I took to writing poetry seriously only after superannuation from active banking service. Although I had some literary exposure during my college days, my debut poem was the Sars in English. I served as managing editor of Odia bi-monthly magazine Sapkaranga. My poems are published in international anthologies. I love you to the moon and back by McKinley Publishing House, Philippines. Views of Golden Relationships in Kindle Magazine, Glory of Indian Independence, Verses of Patriotism, Bonding Beard God, Views of Friendship, Friendship, Amazing Gardener, and uh, Awakener of Hidden Potentials, published by Notion Press. My poem on humanity got published in international anthology, Manushatvam, edited by poets K. Kumar Prasanna, and Professor Dr. Rupali Sarkar Gaur. My poems are published in Symphony of Peace, Ejins, Stencils, Fahis, and Tahira. I was a co-editor of Fahis and Tahira. I used to share my poems in various online platforms of Facebook and also serving as the admins of my artistical world and circum for literary interactions. Took part in writing challenges and bagged many awards and accolades, certificates of distinction, excellence, and appreciation. Poet of the day, poet of the week, poet of the month, and poet of the year. Recently, I received the Best Poet of India Award from the International Poetry Platform Philippines. I have been participating in live poetry recitations organized by the Fertile Brains, Pen Wonders International, and others. Also presented my solo poetry live show last year. Participated in Coffee with Loi and Evening with Zelda. This is all about myself. Now. To speak, why do I write poetry? Friends, I would like to reminisce my initial tenure of service mostly spent in working, spent uh, working in rural areas and coming across varieties of people from close proximity and realizing their thoughts, education, social and economic issues. Morning sunrise in golden dawn and sunset in the evening instilled a sense of poetry in my mind after studying great nature and romantic poets, William Wordsworth and John Keats' poems, scenic splendors of mountains and forests with rich flora and fauna, orchards, blue lakes, flowing rivers, drizzling raindrops, falling amidst 
thunderstorms, rainbows and brooks and festivals celebrated with devotional fervor enhanced my creativity with an urge in my psyche to write poems about nature's beauty and its mystical spell. And also to scribble emotional love verses, pursuing innocent, rustic, beautiful damsels. The divine prayers and the early dawn jingling bells of temples inspired me to write devotional poems with spiritual alchemy. Spending time around the floral gardens of Lakeside in Twilight ignited my emotions of love and soul's romantic eruptions, which I wanted to put in words of poetry. The chief motive behind my writing poetry is to derive mental pleasure and spiritual happiness, and also to connect my emotions with the rest of the world. Through my poems, I wish to generate positive vibes and throw light on the darkness for enlightenment of aesthetic values. I wish to spread my wings of imagination and transmit messages of peace, sympathy, empathy, spirituality, love, and kindness. Through my poems, I try to motivate youngsters to face life's challenges with daring spirit and rescue themselves from murky, deep slumbers of depression. Butterflies fluttering over elegant blossoms, alluring roses, prompts me to scribble my emotions. I have no particular genre of writing, of course. I write, write in both rhyming and open structures about social issues, war and peace, women's cause, education, independence, teachers, love, nature, and various relationships like family and friends. I have a special inclination for writing motivational and inspirational poems. Without wasting much uh, time, let me commence my poem recitals. The first poem which I am going to recite is Love, Kindness, and Humanity which was published in the prestigious anthology Manasattam, We Rise by Lifting Others. Here it goes. If you love humanity, then extend helping hands to humans. Rescuing injured unknown neighbor by good Samaritan is spiritual humanity. Story of Lincoln serving mud-stuck pig is humanity divine. If you really love humanity, then sun cruelty and violence. Help destitute and downtrodden sacrifice your own food and comforts. Extend sympathy. Be empathetic to emancipate men and beasts alike. Humanism better expressed through generous acts, not just verbal words. Humanity better understood by love, truth, nonviolence, empathy, and kindness. Moving along streets, we find everyone busy, struggling for supremacy. No one desist from uh, comparing his status with others' riches. In shortest ever life's journey, be humble and disseminate happiness. Humanity should emanate from within to culminate into humanistic spirit. No need to travel far off to meet true humanity. Jump in immediately to rescue, coming across injured stray canine. Do some philanthropic activities to rescue people suffering from disasters. Teach, preach, love, kindness, humanity to end war and devastation. And this is the end of my first poem. My second poem is about poetry. As we recently celebrated World Poetry Day and now observing National Poetry Month, the title is Poetry, Powerful Healing Bomb. Here it goes. Poetry is a powerful healing bomb, spreads positive vibes. Poets, time passes swiftly, giving no space for negativity. Emotions are intertwined in the landscape of sublime imagination. Bards weave varied weeds of emotions in one chain. Romantic verses glorify eternal love like caressing fountains. In thick of starry night, emotions of lava erupts. Glorious sun evokes verses rich in spiritual awakening. Springs whispering reeds and fragrant blossoms paint canvas. Panoramic grandeur displays multitude hues of poetic expression. Poetry comes out spontaneously through soothing winds. Beautiful earth's flora and fauna enhances poetic elegance. Maiden sour Patricia fills psyche with euphorial, euphorial bliss. And that is the end of my poem. As I have already mentioned, uh, that I am a trilingual poet. My third poem is in Hindi, which was recently published 
in Eid Tahira, the title of my poem is Nari Ab Khud Ko Pehchan. So, listen to me. Nari Ab Khud Ko Pehchan. Nari, you have been very upset with the world, with the love, with the love, with the love, with the love. Now, you have been known as the love, 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 the love. अब खुद को पहचान सदियों से हर मुसीबत में पुरुष का कंधे से कंधा मिलाकर उन्हें सारे सुख देख कर देख लिया अब खुद को पहचान एहसान फरामोश इंसान तेरी अरमानों को अरमानों का गला घोर के आए आया जो तुम चुपचाप सहती आई अब खुद को पहचान अब तुम मैं सास की हैसियत से ख्याल करो दहेज के लिए किसी बहू का जनाजा ना निकले अब खुद को पहचान एक बहु की हैसियत से सदैव ये याद रखना किसी बूढ़े सास ससुर का दिल न दुखे जब अब दुख खुद को पहचान कोई भी मासूम बच्ची दुनिया के उजाला देखने से पहले ही कोप में दम न तोड़े अब खुद को पहचान अबला नहीं तुम सर्वशक्तिमान दुर्गा और काली अतुल बलशाली वहसी दरिंदों के सामने कभी झुकना नहीं अब खुद को पहचान तुम तो कब से घर की लक्ष्मी सरस्वती बनकर दिया हमें वरदान तुम पर हम सभी को है बड़ा अभिमान अब खुद को पहचान अब तुम्हें पिंजरे से मुक्त होकर पैरों की जंजीर तोड़कर भरनी है ऊंची उड़ान आसमान की ओर अब खुद को पहचान नई नई ऊंचाई तय करके तुम्हें स्थापित करना है अनूठी और उज्जवल कीर्तिमान अब खुद को पहचान देश विदेश में ज्ञान विज्ञान की अनुसंधान अंतरिक्ष अभिजान में नाम कमाकर बढ़ाना है देश गौरव व शान अब खुद को पहचान तो ये थी मेरी हिंदी कविता Uh, next piece is in my mother tongue that is odia the title of my poem is mo kavitar sirthakala jhara patra tar bisada gitika means elegy under the fallen leaves here it goes nightingale premi jodin ko madhyavarti puthak patar birah jantrana sikt swara tibratar hela स्मरणीय मुहूर्त सब दुखद विषाद जोग स्वर रे दुहे गाउले प्रेमी जुगल प्रेम भाषा अन्य स्नेह डोर लगी मोर मन मस्तिष्क सबुज शाल शीत सी ते बीताई रोमांचक मुहूर्त आनंददायक बसंत मुहूर्त ह्रदकूल फूल बगिचार चेरी गचर छाई ते शीत दिन शुखिला पत्र था कमुड़े कलकल विहीन काठ भरी अगणित पक्षी मान बसा बांधती शाखा उपर जत्न रस या असंख्य प्रेमी जुगल पक्षी मान से गभर बंधन को मजबूत करने शपथ नि सरीसृप गुंडुची एवं शासक शावक मान खुशी बुलूवा गर्त एवं करोड़ कि हाय सुखिला पत्र खसीगला भूमि पक्षी सुंदर स्मृति हजिगला पत्रहीन कुित गच आम को पुणी थे मन पकईदेला बसंत सुगंधित अनुप्रवेश अपूर्व मुहूर्त सब पुणी थे नुआ कौल सबुजीमा सब आड़े उभा पुलक सह कोम एवं शांत पवन को डाकला मंद मंद मलय विविध रंगर फूल गुड़िकर अविस्मरणीय सुगंधित महक गभर निदर पुनर्वार जन्म होता नश्वर प्रेम शाश्वत प्रेम चांदिनी में आलोकित शांत स्निग्ध उत्कृष्ट एवं रोमांचित मुहूर्त संभार पतित पत्र तलर विषाद गीतिका समाप्त है प्रेम पुणी थे पूर्ण अमृतमय Imperialistic attitude of grabbing borders shouldn't be motive of nations. Animal instincts prompts us to exhibit might, fight battles of diverse species. Never forget ravages of wars, pros and cons of atomic bombs. Innocent people perish, and children become paupers with begging poles. Holocaust still proliferate. Wounded, dying soldiers, anguish, reverberates. Millions rendered destitute. Modern missiles, rockets, bombs demolish structures with an eye's flicker. War, a monstrous cupidity, creates havoc 
whereas P is manifest divinity. C is broad breath, massacrate ones, restore divine peace, tranquility with love. Some demonic acts of cruelty, violence, spread kindness, harmony, and humanity. And that is the end of my war poem, peace poem. My next poem is a motivational poem. The title is Enjoy Every Moment and Disseminate Happiness. The poem runs like this. Who knows what would happen the next moment? Life is short, just like bubbles, water. It may end, at, end abruptly at any point of time. So without worrying much, enjoy every bit of life. Omnipotent creator has given this precious life with purpose. Try to fulfill your dreams the quickest way possible. Engage yourself with gaiety to satisfy your needs. Enjoy every moment and try to disseminate happiness. Man has dismantled beautiful earth to fulfill sinister design. Scientific research and deforestation has disrupted ecological balance. This led us to serious global warming, melting large glaciers. Entire cosmos may be destroyed anytime within moments. Do as much philanthropic activities as you can. Try to spread love, kindness, smiles, and joy. And that is the end of this poem. Next poem is Kassoni. Solicit love and generosity. Here it goes. Future is unseen, ambivalent. But this day, fourth bit, quite set in. Never wait for future. Express love, solicit, and promise instantaneous. Beg an excuse saying sorry for follies you might have committed. Hold her tight, giving hypnotic hug intensely. Kiss your beloved, a form whispering, whispering into her ears, plentiful love and unbound affection. Love is eternal, sublime and supreme, draws you near omnipotent. Love unseen though, travels at supersonic space through her soul. Preserve enchanting moments of euphoric exhilaration spent with your paramour. Your generous, empathetic, philanthropic activities should emanate smiles on millions. Help someone who needs your instant support to wipe out worries. Let humanity cherish your fond memories evermore in future annals. Tomorrow may not come in your life, so act illustrious. Try to accomplish today's set goals before inclining to pillows. No one knows what would happen tonight or next dawn. You may not survive tomorrow's aurora and rising glorious sun. And that's it. My next poem title is Spring's Aromatic Vibrant Juice. The spring is running. That's why it is for spring. Aromatic spring wishes fragrance with fragrant juice of floral extravagances. Colorful butterflies and buzzing swarm of bees hovering over flowers, vivacious cherry blossoms, sensuous jasmines, lilting white and red lilies, daffodils, revisiting roses, adorned gardens, sweet mangoes, ripen jackfruits and intoxicating mohua flowers in abundance, gentle breeze, cool showers attract and charm romantic duos under twilight zones. Mellifluous nightingales, sky ducks, and hopping rabbits, mesmerize enthral romantic poets. Foreign migratory avians set up their temporary habitats in lake gardens, cool zephyr, soothes poetic innervation, whispering reeds erupt joyous emotions. Golden hues ignite my soul's volcano, emitting lava of emotions. Cherries, our spring romance under blue azure with fascinating kites. Here the poem finishes. My next poem is dedicated, dedicated to my late mother as a tribute to her during birth of the day. The title of my poem is Oh My Holy Mom. Here it runs. Oh my holy mom, you brought me safety to this beautiful cosmos. I cannot redeem your debt of nurturing me as mentor. You took my grief upon you yourselves, wiped out agonies in your veil. You cuddled me in embrace, made me rejoice under soothing states. Hidden all your pains in your soul, seldom shed tears of unhappiness. Oh, gracious mother, 
you are living goddess adorning my soul's farthest corner an epitome of unconditional love beyond description tolerance unmatched in whole universe you left me forlorn trespassing to eternal paradise land of ad infinitum infinitum still i feel your supreme ethereal presence whenever i seek during dilemma in murky star studded night you appear like a twinkling twinkling illuminated star fervently praying almighty to lend your sacred ombs in my future birth it will be a sheer jubilation to be born as your son in my next birth aspiring to repay your debts to some extent oh dear mom be my guide wishing indomitable courage to counter hurdles and that is the tribute to my mother the next poem which i am going to recite was published uh, in symphony of peace anthology the title of uh, that poem is uh, divine prayers for peace here it goes my candid aspiration to become a peace emissary keep singing relentless relentlessly ballad of love and harmony let symphony of serene tunes resonate from within divine prayers for peace be symmetry for solidarity achieve cruelty and arson to uphold serenity and tranquility imperialist yearning through carnage must surcease abruptly unconditional giving results in boundless love and peace my solemn craving to relax in calm rectory international border disputes should be elucidated through truce scientific erudition should be disseminated for universal amelioration war a demon's design whereas peace reigns supreme let peace and humanity rest out in beautiful cosmos and that is the end of my poem and my next poem which i am going to recite is also a poem which was published in the 21 hues of golden relationship published by kindle magazine the title is relationships are made in paradise here it goes myriad relationships exist in resplendent earth relationships are made in paradise ornamented by omnipotent with beds of pearls some relationships originate naturally rest occur during life's journeys relationship with my caring mother eternal pure and selfless she left us for eternity still feeling her lovely spiritual presence her smiling face guides me whenever in trouble my cute grand daughter brought immense exuberance we grandparents become joyous with her euphoria moments her filial bonding refresh memories of my loving daughter's nursery days mental physical worries set aside whenever she gleefully smiles relationship with my paramour unique perennial and this in blissful moments she entered my life circumference in times of turbulence my father was confined to couch due to an accident with grievous injuries mother's wellness also owing to severe elderly weakness a working woman though took sabbatical leave to meet familial obligations she took care with much concentration and devotion they recouped lost vigor could stroll independently my adorable wife tenderness endeared herself with family members sacrificed comforts of bringing of seer made them successful software professionals my emotional sublime love bonding first and in due course and that is the end of my poem and next poem which i am going to present uh, was published uh, for women's day by the anthology fahis under the aegis of maya mystical world platform and i got the opportunity to write a editorial note of so the poem which i have published in that magazine is entitled women excel everywhere it glorifies women women excel everywhere women epitome of love tenderness and incessant source of inspiration is mother sister and daughter keep their hearts wide open often undermined by 
counterparts and forward in proper scope and recognition. Empower women in socioeconomic, technical education and scientific innovation. Women have become immensely skilled, efficient and stronger than men. We treat them at less, as, as lesser beings and inferior class. But practically, women excel everywhere, either space or ocean. Impart training to women in martial arts to protect themselves, stop crime against women, protect their modesty and safety. They play a vital role in social integration and economic development. They have also proven their ability in internet and artificial intelligence. Make women stronger, self-sufficient and independent in all spheres. And that is the end of my poem on women. Just a minute. I think uh, time is running out. So I have to finish uh, in a quick space. The last poem which I'm going to recite is uh, titled, O Queen of My Dreams. It was also published in Tahira for Valentine's Day. Here it goes. Anticipating your romantic ingress in my, in my planet's realm, O Queen of Dreams, embrace, mesmerize me this Valentine. Riding chimeric unicorn, alight in my wonderlands, whispering springs, breeze, disseminate your graceful aromas. Forlorn, desolated in your absence, so piercing and painful. I can't show my heart's tearing into peace, pieces. Exalted on your reappearance, what's a pleasant surprise this Valentine? May your dream fulfill exchange, in exchange of my comforts. Every moment you add on my soul's love rostrum. You are a luminous star of my infinite view as you promise to be my valentine this mellow fruitful season. Be my sweet paramour from now onwards ad infinitum. So my poem recitation is completed. So before signing out, I would like to sing one famous old film song from Kajal, sung by late Mohammad Rafi Sahab and pictureized on uh, legendary Rajkumar and Meena Kumari ji. So, Liji, sunye. Chule ne do na juk ho thoko Kuch aur nahi hai Jaam hai ye Chule ne do na juk ho thoko कुछ और नहीं है जाम है ये कुदरत ने जो हमको बक्सा है वो सबसे हंसी की नाम है ये छू लेने दे नाजू होठों को सर माँ के न यूँ ही खो देना रंगीन जवानी की घड़िया शर्मा के न यू ही खो देना रंगीन जवानी की घड़िया बेताब धड़कते सीनों का अरमान भरा पैगाम है ये छू लेने दो नाजुक होठों को अच्छों को बुरा साबित करना दुनिया की पुरानी आदत है अच्छों को बुरा साबित करना दुनिया की पुरानी आदत है इस मैं को मुबारक चीज समझ माना की बहुत बदनाम है ये छू लेने दो नाजुक होठों को कुछ और नहीं है जाम है ये कुदरत ने जो हम ओ बक्सा है वो सबसे हंसी की नाम है ये छू लेने दे 
नाजुक मोटों को थैंक्स फॉर लिसनिंग एंड वाचिंग मी थैंक यू प्रसन्ना सर फॉर गिविंग दिस अपॉर्चुनिटी एंड आई एम साइनिंग आउट गुड बाय फ्रॉम श्यामा प्रसाद पटना